Hello students, welcome to a new session of our mathematical world, data handling. Today, we are going to discuss double bar graph. After the distribution of exam papers, the teacher asked the students to calculate the average marks for each subject for girls and boys separately. Students calculated the marks and answered to the teacher. The teacher collected all these marks and tabulated them on the board. If we represent this in bar graph, we get two bar graphs for both columns. The first graph is for the average mark of boys in various subjects. The second graph is for the average mark of girls in multiple subjects. If we represent data together, it will be more convenient to understand the average marks of a class. This will lead to a double bar graph. A bar graph showing two sets of data simultaneously is called a double bar graph. It helps us to compare two data groups. Drawing a double bar graph is similar to drawing a bar graph. First, draw the x-axis and the y-axis. Then mark various subjects on the x-axis. Then show the average mark on the y-axis. For that, choose a convenient scale to represent numerical data correctly. Here, we can take the scale as one unit equals 10 marks. Then draw the double bar graph. We will denote the mark of boys and the mark of girls with pairs of bars in which one bar will represent the average mark of boys and the other represent the average mark of girls. Remember that we will keep the same width for each bar and keep the same distance between pairs of bars. We can draw the bars along the y-axis. We get a lot of information from this double bar graph. Let's look at some of the questions that can be answered using this graph. In which subjects did the boys get higher average mark? Hindi, science. In which subjects did the boys and girls get the same average mark? Social studies. What is the difference between the average marks of boys and girls in each subject? English, four marks. Hindi, seven marks. Science, 10 marks. Social studies, zero mark. And mathematics, seven marks. Next, we can do another problem. Consider this data, collected from a survey of a colony. Draw a double bar graph, choosing an appropriate scale. Find the answers to the question. 1. 
which sport is most popular? 2. Which is more preferred, watching or participating in sports? First, draw the x-axis and the y-axis. Mark various sports on x-axis. Then mark the number of people on y-axis. For that choose a convenient scale to represent. Here, we can take the scale as one unit equals 100 people. Draw the double bar graph. From the bar graph, it can be observed that, the bar representing the number of people, who like watching and participating, in cricket is the tallest among, all the bars. Hence, cricket is the most popular sport. Next, the bars representing watching sports, are larger than the bars, representing participating in sports. Hence, watching different types of sports is more preferred than participating in the sports. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Sale of English and Hindi books in the years 1995, 1996, 1997, and 1998 are given below. Draw a double bar graph and answer the following questions. 1. In which year was the difference in the sale of the two language books the least? 2. Can you say that the demand for English books rose faster? Justify. That's all for now, see you all in the next class, with another interesting topic.